looking for a complimentary card. I must have left it in one of these trousers or shirts. I wonder how I would have met this call if I if I hadn't found it. I might as well check the other pockets in case there are other things. Other things? Yeah. I want to take the, the clothes to the dry cleaner today. Okay. Yeah. Be fine. <laughs> sure, sure. to say something. Chris. Chris, what is this? What do you, what do you expect me to say? So this is it. This is what the late nights, the hanging out with friends is all about. Chris, what is this? What, what you, is this? What do you want me to say? You can't force me to say something when I have nothing to say. If you, if you found a packet of condoms, uh, it is what it is. I I really do not know how to say it, but I need you to know that it was just a one-time fling, okay, and nothing more. Yes, as I'm talking to you, I may not even recognize her if I see her again. So, I am sorry. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know that while I sit here every day worrying about you, you are out there frolicking with prostitutes. No. I just told you it was a one-off one thing. I didn't even do it passionately the way I used to do it. Yes, I remember I... I was drunk. Yes, I, I was drunk that day and I didn't know how she got into my room. <laughs> oh. You even got a room in a hotel. <sighs> Granted, you were drunk. Then she walked into your room unsolicited with a packet of condom. She undressed you, fitted the condom, and did it with you the first time. You were still drunk when she did it with you the second time and kept the two remaining condoms in your pocket. Isn't that right? Understand me now. Eh? I am telling you, I am not having an affair with anyone. 
It's just that. Why are you so wicked? Why are you so cold hearted? Why? Why? Have you ever wondered? Have you ever wondered how I am doing? I go for antenatal, I come back here, I do the house chores. Have you ever cared to ask me how I come? Have you? Just look at my condition. You put me in this condition and you have the guts to cheat on me. You are so ungrateful. You are so, so ungrateful for all I have done in your life. You are ungrateful. Oh, oh that, that, that is it, right? That is it. That is it, Ogwea. I knew a day like this would come. When you will remind me how you and your father met me. You forced it out of my mouth. You did! I'll sleep in the guest room. That was the kind of man I married. He could not even apologize. He was so arrogant. Just a chauvinist who believed it is a meal who believed it is a man's world and whatever he did that was wrong he mustn't show weakness by owning up and apologizing to a woman especially his wife yeah so men are like that uh, let's not go into that for now the pregnancy i want to know what happened to her Chris continued his philandering with whoever the women were. One night, he came home late as usual. Sweetie, why have you been avoiding me since yesterday? You have been behaving strangely. But let me warn you, you are making a grave mistake. Do you hear me? You can't leave me. Cut that call! Cut it! Just drop it. I think it is awake. 
It's fine. Is this not too much for one person to endure? Don't tell me you believe in that tells by Mulai that girl is saying in there. Don't tell me that. Wait, are you trying to tell me you don't believe her? It's obvious. Can't you see it? The story is so sweet and pathetic. Eh? From the look of things, I think she's trying to get something out of you. And what is she likely to get from me? I don't have anything. She can see that from my apartment. I don't have money, I don't have job, not even property of my own. So tell me, what? Okay, fine. Then you know I'm her target. Eh? I'll be on my way. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Come on, man. Come on, wait. You know we can't just throw out like that. That's wickedness. Obed, that girl is a stranger. I don't know her from Adams, and neither do you. So I don't, I don't see the reason you have to have bought a, a stranger in your house. Friendly advice. Send that girl out of your house. Before she'll put you into a deep problem. Um, Sonny, I believe we can still listen to her. Let's hear her story. Just come, let's... Please. Let's help her. Come. Hey, go, go. It's okay. Go in. Go in. I'm behind you. Go, go. Please. Please. I'm really sorry. I wasn't able to control my emotions. Please stand up. Stand up. I... I know my story sounds strange. And one might think I am trying to whip up sentiments. It's okay, your story is really touching. And it would have been nice to get to the end of it. But well, it seems like opening old wounds. And I wouldn't want to subject you to that pain. It's, it's fine. I assure you, 
I am all right to continue with my story. Please, I am not telling you this to curry sympathy. I'm only telling you because you've been of great help and I owe it to you. <sighs> it's okay. Now we're on the same page. We'd love to know what happened to your marriage, your job, and how come you never had anyone to help you and you ended up in the house? After my parents died, my relatives abandoned me, blaming me for their death. Because according to them, I was warned that Chris is ill-locked. I don't know which was more painful. The loss of my parents or that of my child. I was so traumatized. That is why it is as if I have no one to fall back to. Apart from that, I was never really the outgoing person. So I had no close friends. The type one could run to in situations like this. Now I understand. Hello. What did you understand? I was shattered. And it took me almost a year to recover from it all. While I was down, Chris' business was no more because his benefactor, my father, had died. In order for him to start up something for himself, he sold his landed properties. But he kept on losing money. I couldn't explain what he did with the money. But that was when it dawned on me that I had to be strong and face life again. I am the only one that can decide whether to die in grief or not. So I have decided to make the best out of this bad situation. I am going back to work. Really? That's good, that's good. So, uh, have you called them? Are they taking you back? I have called them. And yes, they are taking me back. I am happy to hear that. 
honestly, I am happy that you've come out the stronger. Now I have my wife back. Honestly, I am very happy that you were able to overcome your grief and come back to work. I knew you were a fighter and would overcome. Welcome back to work, my dear. Thank you, Ma. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your visitations while I was down. Your call strengthened me. And above all, you are giving me back my job. May God bless you. Thank you so much, Ma. You're welcome there. God bless you too. Madam Stella was kind enough to have given me back my job. I resumed work immediately and threw myself into it so as to forget my grief. And it worked. Due to my commitment and hard work, I was promoted to the corporate affairs manager. And that meant more work and office hours. Then, we had a visitor at home. From where? From I... Abba, Chris's cousin. Chris's cousin? Yes, yes. Is he expecting you? Because he didn't tell me anyone is coming. No, 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 no. I just wanted to surprise him. He's not aware that I'm coming. Which you said you're very beautiful. Thank hey, you. You're welcome. Let me help you with your luggage. Oh, thank yes. you very much. You're thank you. Come in. Thank you. So fine. Yeah. 